Here's another killer complex for arms and shoulders. This one involves a super band or strength band loop. It's the arm and shoulder complex. Take you to the gym floor now, show you how to get it done. All right, the super band arm and shoulder complex starts with a speed triceps extension. So I have this attached above me here. Now you can use, if you have two of these super bands, some people call them strength bands, you can have two, one on the floor and one up there. If you only have one like I do right now, you just have it somewhere you can easily take it off. So once I get here, I'm gonna go speed, bang, 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 getting it down as far as I can get, as fast as I can go, really focusing on the triceps. Now as you get a little fatigued, yes, your elbows will come forward a little bit. I'm not as worried about it with this complex. But I want to get speed. Quick little side note, James Krieger talks about this. You really want to get a pump, fast contractions will do it. So once I go there, you're short like me, you gotta you struggle a little bit getting it off from the top of something high. Then I put the band under my feet and I do the opposite. I go speed bicep curls. So look at the angle of the bicep, uh, the elbows. Right? As you get a little fatigued, yeah, you might get a little body English in there, but the biceps are still working. So I got the arms there. Now we're gonna kind of move into a, a pull apart. Now, the first pull apart is not the usual pull apart that you already know. Here's one that I came up with. You're gonna stack your hands a little bit tighter. I couldn't pull this apart that way. And I'm gonna move my arms across my body like this. It's called a cross body pull apart. This arm, my left arm, closest to you, is now holding an isometric. And now my right arm is pulling. So what it looks like from this angle is here. So I'm really focusing on that back end, but then also the, an isometric with the arm across my body. That's missed when we do regular pull-aparts. So I go there. Then I just flip my arms across my body this way and do it on the other side. It's very short range of motion, but keep in mind, this is working in an isometric now. So it looks like this. So both arms are working. One arm just happens to be holding. Then I go to a regular pull-apart. Now I'm hitting ranges of motion that I didn't already hit. Now we finish with a scap retraction. Now I came up with this exercise. Watch how it's done. You take the band like this and you put a single twist in it. So there's like an X in it now, right? Then you bring it together so it looks like two circles like that. Then you put it on like you're putting on a shirt or a jacket and you want it about across your chest level like that. And then from here, all you do is you just squeeze your scaps back and you return. So what does it look like from a profile? Squeeze, return, squeeze, return. So basically it happens like the opposite of a bench shirt that power lifters use. A bench shirt helps you drive you up, right? So it gives you tension at the bottom. Well, now I'm just using that to my advantage and pulling against it to work on scapular retraction. Pop your hands now.